Bible says he makes rivers in the desert and a way in the wilderness by the word of the Lord I command and I want you to declare today rivers in the deserts a way in the wilderness everybody has a desert a dry place a wilderness command rivers in your desert command away your wilderness let there be a way in our wilderness let there be rivers in our deserts command it in the name of Jesus as you put your hands together let there be rivers in our deserts a way in our wilderness we declare it in the name of Jesus do it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says, Who art thou, O mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain. A mountain is a stubborn situation. A very difficult, complex, complications, an unresolved issue something that refused to change is like it's standing there like this opposing and resisting you it will not move today let every mountain move let financial family mountain marital mountains family mountain health mountains whatever the mountain is standing before us our children our family our future our loved ones let every mountain become a plain. Let mountains be made plain. Put your hands around, declare it. Mountains made plain. Mountains made plain. We command mountains be made plain. Let mountains move. Let valleys be exalted. Let every group get path and place. May strength in the name of Jesus. Molaya Katula Makatasa. Isaiah chapter 40, yeah, that is in verse 6, verse 4. Let every mountain and hill be brought low or made plain. But let every crooked path also be made straight. Anything crooked, crooked in your life, in your business, your marriage, your family, anything crooked in the life of our children, our sons and our daughters, in our businesses, our finances, our investment, anything crooked in our house, anything crooked in this house, anything crooked in this nation, Ghana, let it be made straight. Put your hands up, make it straight. Straight and plain, declare it. Somebody declare it. before our God day and night. One of the job of the enemy is to keep on prosecuting us. That word an accuser is a prosecutor. He prosecutes you with evidence, with true evidence and with false evidence. His job is to prosecute. Any demonic prosecution, any satanic persecution, 
any charge and accusation held in the courts of any spiritual jurisdiction home and abroad against us against our seed against our loved ones against our finances our marriages our health our wives our husband our children our future let the charge and the case and the prosecution be dismissed on the account of the blood of Jesus we dismiss it open your mouth put your hand and dismiss it dismiss every charge dismiss every case in the name of Jesus dismiss it you shall prosper. But what I want us to deal with is that any tongue that rises in judgment against thee you shall condemn. That word condemn means silence it. Any tongue that have risen in judgment against you, against our sons and our daughters, against our seed, against our future, against the future of this house, the future of your finances, your health, your loved ones, any tongue that have risen in judgment against the destiny of Ghana, against the national security of Ghana, and wherever you come from, you can pray for your nation. Those of you online, you can stand in the gap for your country, Nigeria, Europe, Asia, Middle East, South America, North America, wherever you are, stand in the gap. Silence every tongue against you, against your family, against your nation, against your church, on the account of the blood of Jesus, by the word of the Lord, we silence every tongue. Come on, somebody, open your mouth, silence it. Silence every tongue that have risen in judgment. Every tongue, any voice that have risen in judgment, the voice of the enemy, the voice of the accuser, silence it. Silence every voice and tongue of the adversary of the enemy that have risen in judgment we silence that tongue let the tongue of the adversary let the tongue of the enemy be silenced in the heavens silence in any court of jurisdiction home and abroad on the account of the blood of jesus we dismiss the child we dismiss the tongue we dismiss every accusation in the name of jesus silence it now, one of the things when you go to a court and your attorney is advancing on your behalf, making a strong case on your behalf, when the prosecutor sees that they are losing ground because your attorney is advancing your cause and your case. One of the things they do is to raise an objection. To say, my Lord, objection, 
to this argument. The judge has the right to say, objection sustained, continue, or objection overruled. Today, by the counsel of the blood, we overrule any objection, satanic objections, against your breakthrough, against our deliverance, the deliverance of our sons and our daughters, our children, to prolong your miracle. Raise, raise, in the name of counter petition, counter objection, declare satanic objection, overrule, overrule, overturn, overridden, open your mouth, declare objection, overrule. Come on, declare. We overrule demonic objection, every resistance, every opposition to our breakthrough, to our change, any objection that have been raised by the enemy, that we are not going to succeed, that we are not going anywhere, any objection to delay our breakthrough, to prolong our breakthrough, our favor, we overrule, hear me, hear me. One of the things the enemy does, you win the case. You go to court for many months, you win the case. And the opposite side raises an objection and then goes to appeal. They appeal against the judgment of the judge, which is in your favor. They take the matter to the court of appeal. And if it fails there, they go to Supreme Court just to prolong your ability to celebrate the victory. Any kind of objection and resistance that is delaying our victory. It's not that you don't have the victory, you have the victory, but it's been, they are prolonging the manifestation of the celebration of the victory, of the deliverance of our sons, our daughters, our children, our future. In the name of Jesus, today we cause to seize the delay tactics. We block the delays. We override the delays. We overturn the delays. We will celebrate the victory and the trial. Put your cancel, cancel every delay tactics of the enemy on the account of the blood of Jesus. He will not prolong our deliverance. Our children's deliverance, and the deliverance of our husbands, our wives, our breakthrough, our testimony will no more be prolonged. It will no more be prolonged. We have vet the tactics, the devices, the projection, the manipulation, the occasion the enemy is using to prolong the victory, to prolong the celebration, to prolong the deliverance. We override it. Come on, somebody, put your hands together. Declare no more delays. No more delays. Now, Ezekiel 12. 28. Ezekiel 12, 28. We enforce it. We enforce it. Let me tell you something. This church is not that normal church you are used to. Over here, we don't operate by the letter. We operate by the Holy Spirit. We flow with the Spirit. We are not, we are not, we are not, we are not into so much of all these uh, you know what, programs and letter, letter, letter. For as many as are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. We want the Spirit to flow. Say flow. Say all oh, rivers of living water flow. Say let the floodgates of heaven open. Let it rain. Say Lord, let it rain in this house like never before. Put your hands Thank God that it's raining. It's raining. Let it rain. Lord God Almighty, let it rain. Let it rain like never before. Let it rain. Hey, hey, let it rain, Lord. Let it rain. Now, quickly, read. Read. Therefore, say to them, uh -huh. this is what the sovereign Lord says. This is the word of the Lord. Turn to, turn to somebody and say, This is the word of the Lord to you. To you. 
none yes. of my words will be delayed any longer. No more. Somebody say, no more delays. No more delays. Right. Whatever I say will be fulfilled, uh -huh. declares the sovereign Lord. Yes, sir. Hear me. Today, by executive order, in the name of Jesus, name above every other name, I declare by executive order, let every word of God's deliverance and blessing and protection concerning us come into immediate effect. Come to pass with immediate effect. Declare no more delays. The word of the Lord comes to pass with immediate effect by executive order. Put your hands together. Declare it by executive order. By executive order. By executive order. No more delay. It's a red carpet experience you are going to begin to have from today. I've had a lot of red carpet experience over the years. You are experiencing a red carpet and a VIP treatment from today, wherever you go. I am announcing it in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, you can receive it now. were coming in and going out they were working on the red carpet and all these beautiful plants all over greens all over and the Lord said to me you give a, you lay a carpet for these people you call VIP they are physical VIPs how about the spiritual VIPs you are the spiritual VIPs and as you have worked on the red carpet experience today from today, let the order of your life change. From today, no more rejections. You will no more be disadvantaged. You will not be ignored anymore. I declare by the word of the Lord, from today, instead of shame, disgrace, embarrassment, you will have a VIP treatment. If you believe it, put your hands together and say yes. Now, Before we deal with something and get in the word, I haven't paid for it. I just told Vanessa and the team, I said, bring it. My people have money. Just bring it. I'll tell them to pay for it. So when it's offering time, turn to somebody and say, when it's offering time, pay the bill. Come on, put your hands together. Thank God. Why, why are you laughing? Why, why are you laughing? You, you have to pay the bill. Amen. I did it for you, so pay the bill. But we are going to another level. I realized some years ago, something strange was happening to me. My cholesterol level was rising anytime I did my test. My cholesterol level was rising. And I realized that it was a result of red meat and also some particular desserts. You know, I... I like vanilla ice cream. And then, it doesn't have power over me anymore. I'm talking about it because I've overcome it. Amen. And then, I like this cake. I like cake with uh, uh, this yellow thing. What do you call it? Uh, custard. Custard. Custard with milk. You know, put on the cake with the ice cream. And my doctor kept telling me, he said, Archbishop, this thing is not good for you. It's the cause of your cholesterol. You have to check it. You have to bring it under control. And I said, okay, doc, no problem. Next time I come, I'll beat it. Now lie. I, and for whatever reason, I had this strong edge and desire for ice cream, vanilla ice cream, 
for custard. I will eat custard with the milk and say, bring me some dessert cake. I will mix the whole thing. I go to Labadi, we go place and I'll tell them I need some custard. I go to the dessert area and, and sometimes Rosa will be looking at me and she will try to stop me and I'll say, don't stop me. You are not my mother. Don't give me, don't, don't even try it. After a while, I realized that it was some kind of a curse that has been activated against me through my subconsciousness. And I realized that it was a problem my father had. He had a serious problem with his cholesterol and some other things. And what the enemy was doing through a familiar spirit, see, familiar spirit, this is what they do. They investigate your bloodline to see what are the strengths and the weaknesses in your bloodline and the diseases in your bloodline. Then what they do is to project those things and the projections and the manipulation through demonic powers will activate those feelings and desires and bad habits of the past and of your bloodline. And for no reason, you've been born again, you are in the church. Certain habits of the past from nowhere will start hitting you and coming. And what the enemy does is, he makes you feel like, oh, you know, this is a struggle. This is something, your bloodline. So you have to live with it. You don't have to live with it. It's not true. It is, it is a curse. It is, it is a demonic activation. They are activating things of the past that are in your subconscious, programmings in the subconsciousness, which hasn't been what I call deleted. You have, the, we call it divine editing. You have not edited it through the constant rehearsing of the word of God that allows God's word to go into the subconscious because it is biologically proven that 95% of decisions, choices we make in life is controlled by the subconsciousness, not by the consciousness. So the enemy has a way of deploying you yourself to destroy yourself. So I realized that what I was doing was self-destruction or self-sabotage and I was hurting myself through what they call killing me softly. You know killing me softly. You are doing something that is hurting you. It's killing you, but you won't stop it. And you don't even know why you are doing it. And you do it without thinking. After you finish doing it, you feel bad, but you go back to it. You are not in charge. You are not in control. Someone remotely is manipulating and controlling your decisions and your choices and your desire through your subconscious mind. Place your hands on your head. Say in the name of Jesus. As I lay hands on my head, I break every hold, stronghold, imaginations, reasonings, thoughts, voices in my subconsciousness that controls and commands my consciousness and determines the choices and decisions I make in life, triggers, provocations from the subconsciousness. I bring them today into captivity to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I break every occasion, memories, habits, desires, triggers, provocation in the subconscious mind. In the name of Jesus, every stronghold the adversary has by projection, by ill wills, by manipulations, through sorcery, through diviners, through familiar spirits, over my subconsciousness to trigger me, to provoke me, to compel me and my seed to self-destruct, to self-sabotage. Today, in the name of Jesus, I reverse the curse of self-sabotage, self-destruction. Let that curse break and be lifted of me right now as I put my hands together. Break it and let it be lifted. Come on. Break it. Let it be lifted. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Break. Push it. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, say any secret weapon and hidden agenda 
of darkness, in the womb of time, in the womb of 2022, and in the womb of the adversary that I haven't yet perceived. Any mystery, any programming in the womb of time, in the womb of 2020, and in the womb of the adversary, I demystify it in the name of Jesus. I demystify it. I demystify. I intercept. I destroy any such move programming of the enemy in the womb of 2022 and in the womb of time and of the enemy. As I put my hands together, I intercept. I intercept. I intercept. I destroy. I override. Overturn. Now in the name of Jesus. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Hallelujah. Sit down for two minutes. Let's get into the word. Let's feed our spirit and our faith. Stop our doubts and our fear. For he has done great things. For he has done great things. For he has done great things. Bless his holy name. For he has done. Yeah. 
promise he will never fail. I will hang on him. I will hang on him. Yeah. He has promised he will never fail. Together and give him praise. 